Hello, welcome to another Hacky Tip video. Today we're going to show you how to upgrade a hard drive on a Lenovo Yoga 2 Pro Ultrabook. Now, right now, this laptop only has a 256 gigabyte hard drive. With this upgrade, I'm getting eight times more capacity. This video also can be useful for people that want to upgrade their Yoga 2 Pro to any size hard drive. The problem in my case is that MSATA drives are only available up to one terabyte in the market right now. The workaround is to buy a Samsung T5 portable SSD, open up the enclosure and remove the two terabyte MSATA that's inside. Now remember, if you want to upgrade to a one terabyte hard drive or less, you don't have to go through this. You can just get a regular MSATA SSD. Just about everything that you'll need for this project will be in the Amazon links below in the description. Please support this channel by clicking on those links. Now the downsides. When you open the Samsung T5 enclosure, it's obvious that you're gonna lose the warranty. And also there's a risk that you can damage the MSATA while you're taking it out of the enclosure. So you need to be careful. Now, as I remove the Samsung T5 from the box and enjoy the last few seconds in which this was a new device and uh, it's nice it looks sleek small you know very well built but uh, I had different idea for it and I started to disassemble it using different tools and basically I ended up destroying this hard drive the first sticker was easy to take out where it had all the information underneath there's two screws that was fine, but I started using different types of screwdrivers and I was able to take out just one screw. The other screw, I, I stripped it out. Now, when I went to the other side, things really got worse. I could not take off the sticker. It was thick. It was difficult to lift. I, I would have to use a, an X-Acto knife to, to take that sticker off to reach the screws. Now. You can see there that I'm using like four or five different types of screwdrivers and uh, until I finally got one screw, I found the right screwdriver and I was able to get one screw out of the four. So take that into consideration. Try to get the right screwdriver for this. It's pretty small, it's a Phillips and uh, the X-Acto knife is also important. In my case, I just had to rip the two covers, pulling them, and I was able to get the M Seda out of the enclosure without any damage. I believe I was lucky. If you want to see how you do this correctly, there's a link in the description in which you can see another YouTuber do this without that much trouble. So you have that option to take a look. The next thing that we're going to do is to create a clone of your old hard drive and put it into your new hard drive. In this case, the easiest way to do it is to buy an, an enclosure that allows you to put the MSATA inside and it has a SATA connection. I'm going to put the link in the description. And then you use this special Apricorn Easy Gig software adapter that connects through USB and you're going to put it on the left hand side, which is a 3.0 connection. And on the right, we're using, in this case, a, a DVD player to install Windows. And uh, you can get that from the Windows website, the latest Windows 10. And you have to create an image and be able to put it on a DVD. And uh, you can find videos on YouTube on how to do this. So once we have this in place, we're going to turn on the computer and open the CD. You're going to right click on the start button, go to File Explorer. And we're going to select the option that says CD, DVD, ROM, and uh, click on the software, which uh, the file to open the application is Easy Gig for Windows. And it's going to have a warning that pops up on the bottom, and you need to click there. And click Yes when they ask you if you allow it to run. Click on Easy Gig, start Easy Gig, the first option and click where it says let's get started the other information here is pretty easy i mean this software is amazing 
um, easy to handle. I'm gonna select the internal hard drive, click next, and the uh, USB, which is the destination. Click next, and it's gonna go through the process of cloning everything on your hard drive, your files, your programs, everything. Obviously, I sped up the process so that we can do this quicker here. It took nine minutes and 44 seconds. Once you completed this, you shut down the computer, disconnect everything, and take out the MSATA out of the enclosure so that you can get it ready to install inside the laptop. I think I'm pretty much done talking for now. Everything else on the video is self-explanatory. Hope you guys continue watching and enjoy it. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. See you guys next time.
now type a password. Hey, look, that's me, Cortana. Can I have permission? These are the settings Microsoft recommends. Go ahead and review them and select Accept when you're ready. Looking forward to helping out.